behind the scenes as I pack for my next two patients. So I'm off to Beverly Hills tomorrow and I have back-to-back -back clients, so I like to start fresh with two different suitcases. And so I'm packing up and I thought it would be helpful for maybe you, if you're sitting at home, things that you might want to have if you're having body work done. So both these clients are having kind of below the neck um, breast surgery, tummy tucks, liposuction, brachioplasty surgeries like that. So one thing I love are these, not necessarily any specific brands of any of this. I really don't um, push any products. So I just really want you to, um, I wanna come at you authentic and just show you something like this that's gel. Kind of these, I feel like they're old school. I feel like I used to have these when I was in high school. These are great. They're great for a few different things. They're great for um, just placing on your stomach if you have tummy tuck. Um, if your surgeon recommends ice, sometimes some surgeons lately with breast augmentations or different breast work are not recommending ice, but these can be up here. Sometimes up up above your chest is okay, but not on the lip a lot, nipple line, you wanna check on that. Um, these are great for if you're allowed to ice after liposuction. These are really good for, especially for the flank area and pop these guys in an old, in an old um, Pillowcase, pillowcase, and then because there is sometimes a lot of drainage, which is totally normal, but you just, you wanna keep things clean and be able to swap them out and not ruin your great bedding. Uh, these are actually also really good for, for uh, my facelift clients. Sometimes if you're between pain medicine, you just really wanna ice up your whole head, these are great on your neck or your lower back if you have back pain. If you are uncomfortable at all, before you even think narcotics, make sure you're icing. People really undervalue ice. I'm telling you, it makes a great, great, great big difference. These little ice packs are my favorite for facelifts, um, but these are also great for body work too. If you have drains and sometimes very rarely, um, people can, where the, the drain is coming out of the body can be a little uncomfortable. So if you pop this right where that drain's coming out, boom, you're good. It just, it works like a charm. So those are great. I'm also taking, because these are both body, body work patients, I'm taking feminine products and the reason is is these are really absorbent and especially when they're individually wrapped you know they're super clean and these are great to even just for extra padding even my mastectomy patients when I worked as a home care nurse these were great for just putting under your bra just to give a little extra padding if you need it these are great for the little liposuction holes and if you don't peel this off keep this on it kind of makes it slip in and out of your under your compression garment um, so that works really good for that. Of course, I'm not gonna use this one, but that was just to show you. I'm also taking more gloves than I'm ever going to need. I'm taking, um, I'm taking a baby monitor because sometimes I'm staying in a bedroom that's a little bit farther away and I wanna make sure I hear every little peep. So I'm right there when they need me. I, oh, I gotta show you this. So this is great. I'm looking at the wrong, there we go. Um, this is one of those little essential oil diffusers. They're super cute. You'll you probably use it forever, but these are great. Um, you just put water and essential oil on these. These are, not only are they lovely, but they are great for nausea. And so I've got, you know, one for each, one for each patient. So I can just start fresh, like I said. Tons of hand sanitizer, um, lotion for massage, because I do that as well. Uh, lots of alcohol pads. Um, these are good for uh, drain care. Uh, let's see a separate stethoscope and of course I'm gonna clean all this in front of the patient even though I clean it way more than people would realize but it's important to me that my, my patients know I am clean, really 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 value um, cleanliness and safety so um, these are something that's kind of a medical thing but you can order these these are great if you're having especially if you're having liposuction or like a tummy tuck or anything where you might have potential drainage you can also use an old towel but these fold out and get really big. They're called chucks or even, even um, like puppy pads, same thing. The whole key is you're gonna lay these down and then when they get yucky or whatever, just scoop them up and throw them out and start fresh. You just definitely want to save your sheets if you um, don't have any you know, old sheets you can put down. So I hope that helps. I just thought I would give you a little behind the scenes. Of course, I'm taking hand warmers because hand warmers and foot warmers, because I'm always, I'm chronically cold. But anyways, Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, um, subscribe, and I am just definitely taking you along for the journey. And thanks for watching. If you have any questions how I can help give you some guidance on your recovery after plastic surgery, don't hesitate to reach out to me.